Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Bless Your Coupons. My name is Joni, and today I'm gonna to be going over with you my cash back totals for the month of October. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, so today I just wanted to go over with you how I did for the month of October with my cash back app. So just to give you a little bit of background, I do, well, let me start even further back. So we are a family of six, we're a one income family and we do for our monthly um, household budget, which includes groceries and everything else we get, we do um, $100 per person per, per month. That's um, pretty a pretty basic uh, guideline to go by for your family. And again, because we're a one income family, that really is about as much as we even can do. So I get everything our family needs for that amount of money um, each month and we eat all of our meals at home so for six people three meals a day at home and then all of the other things that we need um, as far as just running our household comes from that budget as well so i do try to get as much as i possibly can um, in that amount of money and and not i never go over i always stick to that um, but try to really maximize it and get the most i can which is why i started couponing in the first place so there are two ways i do that and one is through my cvs shopping and the other is through cashback apps so this really helps my family get what we need and really have kind of a backup supply um, for and still not go over in my budget. So I, I love doing this, I wanna share this with you, and I really wanna give you an idea of what your family can be sa saving each month or getting for free each month uh, by doing this. Um, one thing I wanna ask you, please, if you could just really quick subscribe to this video, like this video, comment below, and share this video. That would really help my channel. I'm a brand new YouTuber and so excited to be growing my channel and bringing you this content, but that will really help me out if you could subscribe, like, and share this video. But let's go ahead and get into what we're about to do today. And hey, we're gonna chat for a little bit. So uh, if you want some coffee or tea or whatever, grab it and we will uh, have some of that uh, while we chat. So I am going to be talking specifically about Ibotta. That is the number one cashback app that I use. Also Shopkick, which I actually just joined this month. I've been hearing all kinds of um, hoopla about it and different people using it. And I was a little reluctant to jump in, but I finally decided this month I was gonna jump in and I am so excited that I did. So also Swagbucks, I love that app. Um, and then you'll see a little bit of Savings Star. Fetch is kind of always there. Um, <clears throat> I am joined with Checkout 51, but you're not gonna really see anything from that. I, that one I probably use the least. And let me say too, before I get started, um, as I mentioned before, it's a Saturday morning here. I have four children. My husband is upstairs laying a floor. so. You may hear some stuff, please just bear with me and hopefully it won't be too interruptive. Um, but starting with Ibotta, or let's start with what I spent for this month. Again, this is nothing to do with my grocery budget. This is completely outside of that. So with my cashback apps, I spent a total of $494.97. That's almost my entire grocery budget for the month, but that is the amount of product extra above and beyond that I got this month, $494.97. That's what I spent out of pocket. So let's talk Ibotta. With Ibotta, I got back this month $342.02. So Ibotta, just really quick, I'm sure you know this, but Ibotta is a cashback app where you choose the store you're going to shop at. So I go in, I choose the store I'm gonna shop at, I click the offers that I'm going to be doing, and then I get money back for those offers. So I'm gonna tell you right now with Walmart, I click every offer because I have family members, which I haven't gotten in quite some time, but in the past, I had family members who would actually give me their receipts. Um, but I will tell you for this month, this was my own shopping, I didn't have any receipts, but family members can give you receipts and can kind of add to that. And if you have every offer clicked, you just you know, upload that URL or that scan at the bottom um, and you can get offers, your rebates back for what they bought if, that, if they're not interested in doing it and they're happy to share those receipts with you. But um, I will say I didn't get any of those this month. This is all what I did. Um, and then in addition to that, just in bonuses, 
a, you know, above and beyond the rebates that they were offering, I got back $39.75, just basically free money because I shopped. Now, I never um, shoot for those level bonuses just because I don't think they're a real great value. Now, and again, in case you didn't know, it, with Ibotta, you can get as many as four levels. You can hit level one, two, three, and four. Um, level one is usually like, 35 offers for 50 cents. So it's really not even that great of a deal. And then I want to say level two is a dollar. Level three might be a dollar. I know level four is two dollars. So it does get a little bit better as you go, but it is, it's a high amount of offers for really a low amount of money. So I'm not really shooting for those levels. That being said, when I'm shooting for all of these other bonuses, I did hit all four levels. So that's just kind of an extra thing, but I did get some money there. Um, and then the rest of them were just pop-up bonuses or bonuses for picking up, you know, two of the same item or, or two items within that category or whatever. But yeah, $39 and 75 cents just in bonuses. So, I mean, these cashback apps are a huge help to us um, in just getting more product for our family and, and paying as little out of pocket as possible. <clears throat> Moving on to Shopkick, I got $60 back from Shopkick. And again, keep in mind, this is my first, first month doing Shopkick. So for the first month to get back $60, I, I think that's pretty great. And I will say too, um, a lot of that was just scanning items. I didn't even buy all of the rebates that Shopkick offers. I just went into store the stores when I was shopping and I scanned those items that you can scan in Shopkick. Another reason that it was a little bit higher than what I actually got for rebates was because of referrals. So you really wanna promote a Shopkick, have your friends and family sign up and you will even get some uh, cash back for referral. So yeah, $60 from Shopkick. The next one is Swagbucks. I love that app and I think I've said this before, but Swagbucks is one of those that you're not gonna get, um, okay, my opinion is there's not a ton of offers or, or great offers necessarily, if that makes sense, but when you do hit an offer, you're almost always gonna get it for free and it almost gonna be like a high value offer, I feel like. So I do really, really like that app. I have gotten more back from Swagbucks in the past, in past months, but this month um, was $35. So I did get back $35 from Swagbucks. And I'll tell you too, their referral program, I think is pretty cool. So when someone signs up for Swagbucks with your referral code, you don't so much get back um, an amount because they signed up, you get back, I wanna say it's 10% of every time they uh, redeem something. I believe that's how it works. So every time someone who signed up through me redeem something, I get a percentage of that back. And that's kind of a lifetime thing. So I really like that referral code. So yeah, $35 with Swagbucks. And then I got back 13 with Saving Star. And I know Saving Star is gonna be changing. Um, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. Um, I've watched a couple of videos on it, but <clears throat> I don't know that I can completely understand it just yet, but I did get $13 back from Saving Star, nothing back from uh, check out 51 but i'll also say every receipt no matter where i go i always scan to fetch and you won't um i don't have a total to give you for fetch just because i use that a little bit differently um now all these other cashback apps i cash out for cash i bought it i send straight to my bank account and then Shopkick and Swagbucks, I do send to my paypal account from my paypal to my bank account and the reason i do that is because um of the way we work our budget. So I actually have within our budget an Ibotta, we call it an envelope. Um, and so I, every time I go Ibotta shopping or I buy something that qualifies for a rebate, I just put that in what we call our Ibotta envelope. And then when I cash out, I send it right back. So I can go anywhere. And that's why I don't like doing the gift cards. I can just kind of go wherever I want. And that money is fluid and available and I'm not um, having to use it uh, you know, having to use my gift card at Walmart or at my local grocery store or whatever. It's all just kind of fluid. So I choose to just send everything to my bank account and, and just be able to kind of pull from that envelope, so to speak, um, when I'm doing Ibotta shopping. Whereas with Fetch, um, it is a gift card. That's the only option you have. So with Fetch, I just scan everything to Fetch, whatever bonus points I get. And I never really know kind of when I'm gonna get bonus points or not, because they have those always offers. And so when I get enough for um, a gift card, I always cash out to Walmart. 
and then I use it to bring down total. So that's why I don't have a real clear cut amount for fetch. That's just what I do. Um, <clears throat> so with, with what I spent and everything I got back, I paid my final out of pocket was $34.95. So I got $500 worth of products above and beyond my grocery budget this month for $35. That's pretty cool. That is pretty phenomenal. And that's just stocking up on the things that my family needs. And I paid $35 to do that, to get back $500 worth of products. I just think that's amazing. I love cashback apps. I love doing the shopping. And I really wanna encourage you to just get involved, go do this. I know so many people struggle from paycheck to paycheck um, to get the things that their family needs, but don't struggle if you don't have to. If you can use coupons, if you can use these cashback apps to help your family, by all means do that. And I love uh, posting these videos to show you what I got, show you exactly the coupons I used, exactly the cashback apps I used to get that uh, cost as down as low as possible. Um, so this is really just to help you. So that is my cashback summary for the month of October. And I'm pretty pleased with that. $500 worth of products for 35, I think is a great deal. I'm very happy with that. And I'm looking forward to November and what's gonna happen next month. We're going on a 10 day uh, road trip next month for Thanksgiving. I am so excited about that because I, um, if you don't know, I'm a Texan. Uh, I was born and raised there, and uh, but I do live in Massachusetts now because that's where my husband was born and raised. But we are taking a trip home for this year for Thanksgiving. Um, and again, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, so I just feel like uh, very blessed this year to be going to my favorite place uh, during my favorite holiday. And I'm not going to get emotional, but I'm so excited to be doing that. And so um, that 10 days, I'm going to be off the grid obviously not doing a cash back. So November might look a little bit different. Maybe I won't hit all four levels and I bought it and that's okay. Um, but I will definitely bring you uh, what I did do next month and just kind of let you know how things went. If you are not signed up for any of these cashback apps, there are referral codes uh, and referral links in the description box below. Get signed up, start saving for your family. This is an amazing way, so make sure you do that. I have a giveaway going on on my CVS haul video from last Sunday. It's a $10 gift CVS gift card, um, and I want you to win that. So make sure you go watch that video and get entered. I'm gonna be announcing that tomorrow, so there's one day left to get entered, um, and I will leave that video link below. So make sure you leave a comment. And like I said at the beginning, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do that. And uh, if you are here because Natalie from Clean Cut Couponing sent you, um, thank you so much for coming by. I love Natalie. She is a blessing to me. She is not just a couponer um, and mentor, um, but she's a true friend and I appreciate her. And so if you're here because of her, thank you so much for coming. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave me a comment below. Do you use these cash? back apps are you saving for your family and if not are you going to start let me know below in the comments and as always thank you so much for stopping by and i hope to see you next time all right guys bye bye